everybody, it's me, Tara and Eileen, and welcome back to our Nancy Drew Let's Play. Um, we are actually starting a new game today, and it is one of my favorites, and it is Nancy Drew and the Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. Um, I really, really love this game. Uh, you'll see why. Uh, let's just get on into it. Welcome to my latest case, Dear Ned. Remember Sally McDonald, the woman who took those photos that Dad has up in his office? Well, she just bought a house in Moon Lake, Pennsylvania. A gangster named Mickey Malone built it back in the 20s as his country getaway. We're talking major fixer-upper. Anyway, last night Sally called and she said she desperately needed my detective skills. She refused to say why over the phone. Naturally, I said I'd drive to Moon Lake immediately. But weird things started happening the moment I pulled up. First, this big tree fell down behind my car and has me totally blocked in. And then I discovered that Sally's gone. She left a note that suggested something terrible happens here at night. She's supposed to call me from her car. So here I sit, writing to you while I wait for the phone to ring. It's nighttime, and although part of me is dying to know what frightened Sally away, another part of me is starting to feel a little uneasy. I'll let you know what happens. Ever yours, Nancy. Isn't that awesome? We're staying in an old gangster's cabin. <laughs> in the middle of the woods. Oh. oh, there's the phone. Just look at it! It's so awesome! <laughs> Hello? Nancy, hi, it's Sally. We have to talk fast because I'm in my car and my cell phone's running low, so we might get cut off. But did you see my note? Yes, are you alright? No, I feel awful bailing on you like that. You must think I'm such a flake. I'm just worried about you. What's wrong? I couldn't stand the thought of spending another night there. I knew you were on your way, but it didn't help. I just got too scared. What's to be scared of? It's so peaceful and quiet here. Just wait until it gets dark. Then you'll see. What am I saying? Nancy, you shouldn't be there by yourself either. Why don't you just go get in your car and go home? Or drive to Philadelphia. My aunt's got plenty of room. No way. You've got me so curious, I wouldn't leave even if I could. What do you mean? A tree fell down behind my car just as I was driving up to the house. I'm blocked in. Oh, the dead maple beside the driveway. Oh, they told me it was in danger of falling over when I had the place inspected. I just never got around to doing anything about it. Listen, call M's Emporium. That's a store on the lake. Emily knows everybody. She'll know who to call. If she decides to answer her phone. It's late. Won't the store be closed? Where's my brain? Okay, look. I just bought a little outboard motorboat. I haven't used it yet, but the guy who put it in for me said it should run just fine. It's tied up at the dock out front. Just get in it and go. Go anywhere. Just get away from the house. I can't just take off in your boat. It's pitch black outside. Then listen to me. Go around the house and lock all the doors and windows. Do that right now. There aren't any locks on the doors and windows. What are you so afraid of? The dogs! Those dogs! Out of nowhere! They're outside howling and snarling! Teeth and claws! Horrible! Dogs? Hello? Did you say dogs? Hello? And she's cut off. Check out squeaking, probably mice. What is that? <laughs> it's creepy. It's stuck. Okay, I need so some sandpaper. All of them move except for that one. So, we need to look for some sandpaper. We actually have a phone this time. Um, so, it gives me notes like sandpaper, the names of the dogs, um, weird noises outside. And then, also, we have a phone here with telephone numbers, which is nice. Um, but we can't call on this. Maybe it's not a cell phone, maybe it's a... Uh... 
What were those called? Not a pager, but something else. It keeps notes inside and stuff. Okay, let's go investigate these sounds. Okay, so something to do with the clock. Something's out there. Now look what you've done. That was a Strix Varia. At least I think it was. Never know for sure now, will I? Uh... Who are you? My name's Red Knot. And if you've got a volume knob, I'd appreciate your taking it down a notch before you scare away everything from here to Lancaster. Just what is it you're afraid I'll scare away? Birds. I'm trying to look for birds. What are you doing out here? My name's Nancy Drew. Didn't you hear all those strange noises? That was me, Miss Nancy Drew, calling oh. in birds. And doing a pretty good job of it, too, till you showed up. Where'd you come from, anyway? I'm staying here in the old Malone place. Now, why would you want to do a thing like that? The Malone house is no place for one young woman, let alone two. You've met Sally? I talked to her a couple of times. But you know, the last time I saw her, she wasn't doing so good. She acted real anxious, scared. Did she say what was wrong? The dogs. The dogs of Mickey Malone. Legend goes that when Malone was finally arrested and hauled away, his four dogs went running off into the woods and were never seen again. That's People creepy. People just hear them howling like their hearts were broken every night until one by one, they all died and went silent. But every time someone tries living in the Malone house, back they come. Are you saying Sally's house is haunted by ghost dogs? Every night, ever since she moved in, you could hear them howling. And some nights, the dogs would appear outside the house, running around, snarling and barking and throwing themselves at the doors and windows. And then, they'd be gone. They're buried in the cemetery just beyond the house, you know. Them and Malone both. The dogs would attack her house? It's like they don't want anybody but Malone living there. I guess they don't know he's dead. And so are they. Did they ever attack Sally? She never gave them the chance. After the first attack, she stopped going out at night. Just locked the doors when it got dark and sat tight until morning. Why haven't the police investigated? This isn't New York City, Miss Nancy Drew. All they got around here is one officious little park ranger. And all Jeff Akers does is sit around all day trying to figure out how he can get himself transferred out of here to a bigger park. Do you live close by? I just come to Moon Lake in the spring to look for birds. Got an observation platform just up the path, kind of my base camp, and I've got a little outboard down there on the lake. Left my car at the big dock up lake. Don't really need it. Are Here they those come. the ghost dogs? Yes, ma'am. Which is why I think it would be a good idea if I went my merry way and you got yourself back inside that house. Good luck, Miss Nancy Drew. Okay. Good idea. Oh my heck. This is not good. appear on a fresh spring tree make my birth different from the other three. When swans drift by on shimmering blue, I'm the one who plays in the summer dew. When autumn's call brings out the deer, it is I who howls on mornings clear. And when winter comes and birds take flight, look to me to sleep through the long gray night. Okay. Rotten floorboards, watch your- Okay. So 
So don't step over there. Um Okay, so I'm guessing that poem has something to do with this. Um just not sure what order things go in yet. Get well water tested ASAP. Ooh, this will be nice. Some gloves. No water. This is um, the note that she left us. Um, I think that's everything. Nope. Some water. Get dead tree cut down. Yeah. Uh huh. Thank you. Okay. I wish I got to see what was upstairs. Let's go explore the outside. Oh, it's so pretty. Listen to all the sounds. Uh, those look too rotten. Okay, I've got a board. I just love this one. I love the music. I love being outside. Okay, so, um, cool thing. This is called a pump. Um, the only reason I know how to work these things is because my dad had one in our barn. Um, so underneath it is like a well and you pump this and it brings the water up. But first, you gotta prime it. With a little bit of your own water. And then it comes out. So now I've got... I don't need water right now. Nancy, you just worked for that. <laughs> oh well. Now I've got a bucket. I don't know if I need the bucket or not, but we'll check it out. So the here's the boat. Full of water. Oh, we do need the bucket. And we got a screwdriver. The spark plug is missing. And we're missing a spark plug. Um, the spark plug is missing. Gonna need that. Uh, oh, here's that guy's tree. This must be Red's observation platform. Okay, so it looks like Red is only here at night. Looking for his birds. Ooh. Shed. A face only a gnome could love. That's a little rude, ain't it, Nancy? Oh, a key. Don't know what that's for. Oh, probably this. Oh, the key broke off. Nah. It's locked. There's got to be another way to get this open. Uh, some cut like wire, not wire cutters, tree trimmer things. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
Um, oh. Unscrewing up here. Think smarter, not harder. I'm actually picking up a lot of, um, objects to be used. I don't know what I'm going to use them for, but... Okay, so up here is the forest. I better be careful. A lot of the times I can end up memorizing this. So, thought you could use this map to the cemetery. You'll find lots of bait along the way, especially at night. The cemetery is real hard to find. I got lost a bunch of times. Happy fishing, George. Okay, so first of all, we're going to want to go to the left and then to the right. The next time we get to choose. To the right. Okay, so we're at the fallen log. So now we need to go to the left and then to the left again. Oh, a birdie. Uh, I think we're right here, so we need to go to the left. Hello, little blue. Mm. Now we need to go to the right. And there's a tree stump. <laughs> Hello. Hello. This is blue, my roommate's cat. Uh, now we need to go this way, and we should be there. <gasps> Creepy. Yeah. Okay, I want to look at what I can. So we have Waldo Matthias. Oh, Snooky, our beloved dog, ten years old. That's sad. Goodness, Oma Pearl. Piffin Path. Cedric Cosmo Cosmo Cranky. Stench Isa Royal. Marbles a kitty. Oh. Oh, here's all the dogs. Vetus, Sander, Lucy. Ooh, I have an idea. So that poem mentioned like different seasons. So I don't know if this is anything, but Vitus was born in February. They all died the same day? That's creepy. So Xander was born in August. That's like almost my birthday. <laughs> um, Lucy was born in April. And Iggy was born in November. So we have like, February would probably be winter. August would be summer. Uh, April would be spring. And November would be fall. Looks like paw prints. That's creepy. Oh, and it's open. So, I think this is Malone, supposed to be Malone's body here. It actually, I don't think it says. Yeah, it's like all um, 
scratched off there. Can't really read it. But that is the graveyard. Let's explore the rest of this forest. Um, so we're right here. So let's go to the left and see what's up here. Where am I now? Oh, orange bird. Okay, nothing up here. Uh, did I just see a red? Uh, oh. Okay, some rocks. Um, I'm gonna need a turn. Okay, so here's the yellow ribbon. We go straight, nothing. Okay, so here's a log. Let's go to the left. I just wanna make sure we explore this whole forest. So now we wanna go this way to the fallen tree. Okay, so this is the back way home. So fallen tree, we're gonna wanna go to the right. Is that right? Yeah. Nothing over here. So dead tree again. Now we wanna go straight. I think we've explored this whole side of the map. So this is the way out. Um, so now we're going to go this way. So the first dead end here is going to the left. So let's head up to the left. And there's a shoe. Okay, so that's one dead end here. Now we'll go straight. And now we're at a log and this rock. Um, so that's this right here. And then the last bit that we need to explore is both left and right. So birdie there. And there we go. So we've explored the whole forest. I wonder if I'll be able to memorize this like last time. There we go. Um, so this wood I've been collecting, I'm thinking it's probably for the floor here. Um, so let's see if we can put that down yet. I don't know if we need any more. Okay. So now we can step on that. Not that it's, a, it's like pretty much a temporary fix, but. Okay. Um, so here, leaves set up here on a fresh spring tree make my birth different from the other three. Um, so the first one, leaves that appear fresh, uh, oh, spring, so Lucy's first, um, with spring. When swans drift by on shimmering blue, I'm the one who plays in the summer dew. So that's Xander with uh, Summer. When Autumn's call brings out the deer, it is I who howls the mornings clear. Um, 
Um, swans. I need. And when Autumn's call brings out the deer, it is I. So Iggy is fall with the deer. And when winter comes and birds take flight. So v Vitus, Vetus is a uh, winter and he has the birds. So we have the bird, bird. So right now they're all birds. On that one, swan. Ooh, I wonder. Are these all facing the same direction, but one? They are. It's stuck. So I need to find sandpaper so that I can turn these so that the, um, so that these change. So we have birds and swans, so I'm guessing there's going to be deer and leaves at some point. I wonder, no, she said sandpaper, but might as well give it a try. It's stuck. Um. Hmm. Ooh, that's the only person we could talk to. So maybe the one guy has a spark plug? The red knot guy. But he's only here at night. So creepy night time. We're gonna The go. moon's so bright, I won't need my flashlight. Oh good. Let's go talk to our buddy. The only one. Well, it's Miss Nancy Drew. Please, just call me Nancy. I will if you keep your voice down. I just heard a cerulean warbler. Really? Are they rare? Something tells me they're gonna be with you around. You didn't come up here to chit-chat, did you? Do you know much about outboard motors? Sure do. Only type of motorized vehicle that's allowed on Moon Lake. Heck, if it were up to me, I'd ban them too. Have everybody get around by canoe. Nothing like the threat of physical activity to keep tourists away. Why don't you like tourists? I came to see birds, not people. The more people there are in a forest, the fewer birds there are. It's a fact of life. Reason I like to come here is because nobody else does. It's perfect. Not a decent grocery store, restaurant, or motel for miles. There's no place nearby that sells boat parts? Sally's outboard is missing a spark plug. I might be able to help you out. After all, I was a Boy Scout. Be prepared. <laughs> you mean you have a spark plug I could buy? Well, just so happens I've got two spark plugs right here in my pocket. Question is, if I give you one, what do I get for it? I don't need cash, but maybe you could take a few pictures for me. Know how to use a digital camera? Sure. What would you like me to take pictures of? Birds, of course. There's a couple of birds I'm supposed to take pictures of for Pepsob. That's people for the preservation and study of birds. You can recognize them by their songs, which are on this tape which you can play on my cassette player, which you're going to have to get from M's Emporium as soon as you get your boat fixed. <laughs> Think you can handle that? Yeah. I know I can. Here's everything you'll need. M's Emporium is up lake on the west side. Thanks. Not that I'm trying to get you out of my hair or anything, but try not to come pestering me till you're done, okay? One more thing. You smoke? Cigarettes? No. These woods may not look it, but they're tinder dry. One lit match, and the best bird habitat on the East Coast will go up in smoke. So watch what you do, because if anything like that happens, I won't be looking for birds anymore. I'll be looking for you. Watch yourself out there. Okay. Well, we now have the spark plug, um, and then we got to do that favor for him. But uh, we are running out of time for today, so 
we are going to end it here. We've only met one person, and that is Red Knot. Um, he is the bird expert up in the tree. Um, he is helping us out by giving us a spark plug, and now we have to take pictures of birds for him. Um, it's a good thing that I marked them on the map. So there's like orange bird, yellow bird, blue bird, red bird. So I've already kind of mapped out where they are, um, which is kind of cool. So hopefully it won't take us too long to figure this out, but I hope you guys have a great day. Have courage and be kind, and we shall see you all next time. Bye.